Hi, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I trust that you're all doing well. Today I would like to talk to us about the concept of worshipping God. Not worshipping God um, which has to do with singing songs because worship is definitely more than a song. But I'm talking about the kind of worship that entails us laying down our lives for the Lord consistently and continuously. Um, Romans 12 verse 1 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Years ago, I was sitting at a stadium. It was at night. Um, the lights were on and there were all these insects flying about, just being irritating and annoying. And I just looked at the insects, you know, as I was trying to just um, kind of move them out of my face. And the thought crossed my mind that those insects are doing and being just what God has made them to be. That is worship. So God takes delight in those who seek to please Him, seek His will, and pursue that for their lives. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20 tells us that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, that we were bought at a price, and we're also instructed in that scripture um, that we are to honor God with our bodies. Honor is equivalent to worshiping God. Now, though this scripture in 1 Corinthians 6 talks about fleeing sexual immorality or having nothing to do with sexual immorality, the principle remains the same. Use your body to worship God. Use your body to honor God um, as much as you possibly can. For 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 also tells us, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. And glorifying God is totally synonymous to worshiping God. It is when we give God all that we are, that Christ can be all that He is in and through us. Um, and that is ultimately what we are supposed to be as children of God. So many of us have made resolutions or plans for the year ahead, which is a good thing. It is a great thing. It's an important thing to do. Um, but what would be even better to do is to lay down those plans before the Lord. I would like to encourage us that we worship the Lord in 2023. Whatever that looks like for you and me, it does not really matter, but that we lay our lives down consistently and continuously, worshiping the King of Kings so that we be what He wants us to be. We do what it is He wants us to do. And when we speak, that we speak the oracles of God. So I encourage you with this, worship the Lord, lay down your life. In that, you don't do it in vain, you lose nothing. God bless you as you pursue the purpose and will of God.